Which creature was your favorite design? I was going to ask you that too. Mm, beat you to it. I, I liked so many of the creatures in this, but the Ozoku really creeped me out, especially when they seemed to be causing Asuna to have some sleep paralysis. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, the bone monsters. And Also, why wasn't that explored more? They only used that ability like once. Yeah. That seems like a way more effective ability. Like they take her away and throw her in some kind of pit. And it makes it seem like there's some kind of a nightmare boogeyman kind yeah. of thing where they come at night, they cause a sleep paralysis, and then they torture you by bringing you somewhere where you start to notice that they can only be in the shadows. And then you're in the sunlight and you're just waiting for, you know, like the, the imagine, like the psychological torture of being in a place where the shadow is creeping in and you're only safe when you're in the light Yeah, is so scary. And I, so I think that once they become these like things that run alongside you when you're in a river and will just kind of eat you, they become a little less scary. I'm a little unclear on some of the way they do their things. Mm hmm. <laughs> it feels like they're very hesitant about a lot of their actions. It's mm-hmm. like they really, really want to to get her, but then they'll keep her somewhere for a little while. They have so many opportunities just to kill <laughs> yeah. this fucking girl. Their whole thing is like they want to drink the defiled blood of a topsider or something. That's what I remember it as. And they have so many opportunities just to kill this girl. And they have her in, her, in their grasp several times. And they just never fucking do it. And it stinks. They suck. So these things are like, they're giant humanoid, almost kind of creatures who will walk on two legs and also walk on six legs because it's got sort of extra arms out at the uh, sort of torso. They've got glowing red eyes. They do? I missed that. They have (laughs) extra arms? Yeah. I must have really been not paying attention. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I was too busy trying to figure out how their shit works because they have their, their thing is like they can exist in the shadows. But why can't they exist in the, Only shadows? the shadows? Why can't they exist in the shadows of the characters? Like they're always just on the periphery chasing the characters, but the characters have shadows. So why can't they just exist in the character shadows and then grab them and kill them? There is a villain in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders who only attacks you when you're dreaming Mm. and then like it it tortures this one guy in the series and it's always attacking him while he's going to sleep so then he has the psychological thing of like i can't go to sleep because if i go to sleep this monster will get me kind of like freddy kruegery um but the part that i love the most about the jojo's bizarre adventure villain is when you woke up it was very much like a dream where the guy remembered that he had a nightmare he remembered bad shit was happening, but he couldn't exactly specify what happened, just like in like actual dreams. Right. And I thought that was really cool. And I think the Ozoku could have been that. Yeah. That's a lot more terrifying to me than yeah. them being in the shadows. But I mean, they were still really fucking scary. Yeah. I think my favorite creature in terms of just beauty, not like the story behind them, um, and it plays such a small part in this movie, it doesn't really do anything. It's... One of the gatekeepers that looks kind of like a deer, but it has like ribbon, ho- ribbon antlers and stuff. I, I was like, this looks really fucking cool. Yeah. Looked like a, it reminded me of a Pokemon. Like as soon as it came on the screen, I was like, throw your Pokeball at it. Catch that motherfucker. Like that is a cool looking creature. And that that thing, it's its head did remind me of the forest god and Princess Mononoke. Yeah. It was yeah, based yeah, yeah, off yeah. of deer. And yeah. yeah. And I liked that Mimi booped it. <laughs> came up and like gave a little nose boop and then ran up its head yeah yeah i thought that one was just really beautiful and really creative looking like it was just stunning to look at maybe it's just because the lighting it was bathed in this golden light i was just like this is so beautiful looking and then yeah. it was on screen for like two three minutes and didn't really do anything but I still, still cool that looking. moment yeah. still cool I like the idea of the god creature. I think that, you know, it's hard to say, like, what does god look like? Mm-hmm. And uh, and to get something where an audience would go, okay. I liked that it was kind of genderless and weird and felt ancient. Mm-hmm. Um, Did you like that it had about 4,000 eyes? I found that alarming. <laughs> What if I you felt, get to heaven and God looks like that, you're just like, ah. I feel too seen. <laughs> too seen. <laughs> He's always watching. Yeah, I mean, 
That's part of his gig. He's what, like Santa Claus. What would it be like to look in all those directions at once? I can't even fathom. Yeah, me neither. Thanks for watching that clip from the Anime Movie Podcast. Follow the links in the description below to hear full episodes, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fun clips like this.